time for the piano bench here in the music classroom. I'm gonna let you guys give you a little bit of time to log on. Today we're gonna sing a little hello song. I'll try and say hi to everyone I see in here. And then we'll do a, uh, we will do Do Re Mi, let you guys get your singing voices all warmed up. And then we're going to do a draw along with a bass clef. Notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C on the bass clef this time. It's a little different, so uh, just stay tuned. I'm going to teach you how to read and identify the notes on the bass clef because we did the treble clef on Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing the bass clef draw along. And I'm here in the music classroom so I can use my smart board again. And then we're going to take a little uh, field trip. Today I wanted to take you guys for a little walk over to the playground. I know you guys probably missed that playground. I've been saying it for a, for a while since we moved into the new school building that that is the coolest playground that I've ever seen. So I'm going to take you guys for a little walk out there. I'm going to bring a ukulele so that we can sing a song out on the playground. It should be a lot of fun uh, getting out and getting some fresh air, let you guys kind of see what you're missing here. And um, hopefully you're not getting too, uh, too lonely over there at home. Staying busy, working on your schoolwork, uh, your music. I see a lot of you guys sharing your draw alongs. You guys did a great job on the treble clef draw alongs. I was very, very impressed. Okay, it's a little bit trickier for me to see the uh, the names here, but let me start with let's do AJ, Colin, uh, Lily, Jake, Emma. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see, hello to Colin, it's so great to see you, hello Mr. Sontag, so nice job dude, I can pretty much hear your voice in my head, let's sing to Lily and Miss Santiago, I'll sing to all of you guys, you can sing it all together, okay, hello Lily, Jake and Miss Santiago, it's so great to see Hello to Emma, it's so great to see you, hello Mr. Sontag, so great to see you, thank you so much, hello to Will, it's so great to see you, hello Mr. Sontag, so great to see you, okay awesome job Will, let's see um, Caesar and Casey, hey, people I'll sing to John to John and to Noah here we go hello to John 
John, it's so nice to see you. Hello, Mr. Sontag, so great to see you. Nice job. Hello to Noah, it's so awesome to see you. Hello, Mr. Sontag, so great to see you. Nice job, dude. Let's see who else is here. I see, uh, Game of Thrones. Who said that? <laughs> Hello to Cordell. It's so great to see you. Hello, Mr. Sontag. So great to see you. Here we go, guys. Just one more. Oh, how about two? Ella, here we go. Hello. So uh, I'm here at the music classroom. It's a nice and bright day. The light is shining through the window and I feel fantastic. I'm glad to be here with all of you guys again today. Uh, good morning. I hope you guys had a great draw along with Miss Grace this morning using the cool colors. What color am I wearing? I got my blue and that's my cool colors. You know a cool guy like me has got to love the cool colors. Always have. If you look at my, my wardrobe, it's all blues all dark blues light blues all kinds of cool colors even a few purple ones even a few purple shirts in there uh what we're gonna do next is we're gonna sing some do re mi so before we do this maybe you want to stand up stretch your hands up to the sky bring them slowly down and pat your side take a deep breath in through your nose Remember to fill your stomach like a balloon and out through a hiss. Let all of the air out. This time I want you to breathe out through three short hisses and a long one. So breathing in. Three short hisses and a long one. Take this time to calm and focus your body. Think about all of the things you can control and the things that you can't and how to, how to use your energy, choose the energy that you create like Miss Santiago has been saying in her library class this week. Really a great message. Uh, this time I want you to breathe in through your nose and then you're gonna sing do with nice round lips. Sing super smooth do. You ready? Breathing in and sing. Do. And let it ring out until all of your breath is gone. This time we're gonna do three notes. Do re mi. Okay, and when you sing me, you can give me a big smile. Hey, me. Take a deep breath in and see. Don't forget to smile. Uh, now we will sing all the way up to so. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, when you get to so, again, with the round lips, okay? Breathing in. Let's see. Don't 
try and keep it nice and smooth and even as you sing these notes. This time we're gonna sing a crescendo. We're gonna start soft. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. This time you can get kind of louder. Keep a nice round shape when you're singing these, these sounds, okay? Remember to sit up tall. Don't stretch your neck out. Keep your uh, neck and chin all aligned. Sit up tall with a nice um, deep breath filling up your stomach, okay? You guys ready? Take that breath in. Let's sing all the way up. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. How loud can you go up there? Oh my goodness, your parents are like, cut it out! <laughs> this time we're gonna do a decrescendo or a diminuendo going down. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. As you get to those lower notes, I want you to get softer and softer, okay? Hi, Reese. Hi, Grace. Great to see you guys. Take a deep breath in. We're going to go descending on our scale. Breathing in. Do, ti, la, so, fa, Guys, uh, there is a fun game that we play in music class on the board called uh, Functional Ear Training. And I'm going to be recording a new volume two of Functional Ear Training today before I leave the classroom to post up on the YouTube channel, Music Class with Mr. Sontag. I just want to encourage all the parents out there that if you're allowing your uh, students to use YouTube, please monitor their use. And, uh, and there are certain filters that you can add on YouTube that make them for kids only. We are still figuring out <laughs> how to navigate these, uh, these, this kind of unexpected shift where we have to make sure everything is broadcasted. All of our lessons are broadcasted. So um, I think Miss, Miss Rain sent out a communication yesterday saying just to please be careful and be aware of what your students are doing. I know that it might seem easy when you, uh, if you just want to sit the iPad down and to let them log into YouTube and watch videos, but it's it's very important that we monitor what our students are watching and what they're seeing. Okay, so that's just not to be doesn't have to be anything too grave. Just keep it keep it monitored. Keep checking on the things that they're they're logging into because the internet is a huge place and you never know what somebody might stumble upon when all they're trying to do is learn and have a good time. So remember, you can log on to Music Class with Mr. Sontag on YouTube and uh, you can just go to NFSSE resource classes as well and you can find playlists of art classes, music classes, PE classes, library classes, garden classes. Miss Cooley just uploaded a new video and it is hilarious. Miss Morrow even makes a cameo in it. It is really cool. And she actually takes you guys down to the horse barn. Now that horse barn was just getting set up before we left for spring break. Just They were just putting the final finishing touches on it but now it is completed, it's finished, and there are horses in there. Every now and then, if I listen closely, I can hear them whinnying from, from just uh, next door to my classroom. It is so, so, so cool. Um, so I just uploaded a bunch of new piano videos. I loved seeing some of my friends here uh, playing piano. Uh, in particular, uh, Sean and Reese. Reese, you were playing some awesome Solfege games. So we played this game, Functional Ear Training. And then there's one note. And you have to try and find out what note it is. So before I leave the classroom today, I'm gonna record another um, functional ear training video. There's one up from last week that I posted. I'll post one more today. Um, and here we go. This is, uh, I have an idea stewing up up in, up in my brain right now that I want to start a challenge. You guys know like all of those challenges, those TikTok and Vine challenges. Um, I'm old. I don't use TikTok, but I wanted to start an Ode to Joy challenge, okay? This is my idea of for music educators, we could start the Ode to Joy challenge. So I've posted up some tutorial videos on how to play Ode to Joy on the piano like this. <laughs> Okay, really easy song, and I posted some tutorials yesterday on how to play the piano. I actually uploaded about four different 
piano tutorials with finger exercises and how to even read a song. So I hope you guys will get good use out of them. If you don't have a piano, I also posted some guitar lessons because I know Cordell was asking about uh, some guitar lessons and he's been bringing his guitar and playing along with me. So I actually uploaded two guitar videos yesterday. I'm finishing the third one today. Uh, and in addition to that, I have a bunch of ukulele videos up there. And today I'm gonna to be playing uh, the ukulele with you guys. So there's plenty of resources for you to log in. And if you don't have an instrument at home, you can always just kind of watch along and pretend you're strumming or play along. And, and at the end of every video, I do a sing along and play along. So you guys feel free to do that with me, okay? Well, I hope that you're having a great day. All right, I'm gonna get straight to this draw along, guys. What you'll need for this draw along is a pencil and a paper or a marker or anything like that. I'm gonna use my smart board. Do you guys see my draw along from Tuesday still up there? That was the draw along that we did of a treble clef. And today we're gonna do one that's very similar because we're gonna use the same format, but we're going to use the bass clef. So go ahead and get your piece of paper out and make sure that you that you put it sideways horizontally okay and i'm going to just go ahead and start by drawing five straight lines at the top of my paper okay so here we go one two three four five and this is going to be your music staff sheet don't worry if it's not perfect, but for this draw along, it will help you if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler, um, and that will help you keep your lines nice and straight. Uh, once you do that first one, you're gonna draw the same exact thing at the bottom of your page, okay? So now you'll have two statues. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Again, guys, it doesn't matter that they're not exactly perfect. I love what Miss Grace always says that uh, there are no, there's no wrong way to do it. If you're participating and you're trying your best, then there's no wrong way. So I want you to go ahead and get your paper and your marker. On this top staff, we're gonna just practice drawing the bass clef that we learned yesterday. And the bass clef, remember, looks like uh, half of a heart. So if you were to draw a heart, right, the bass clef is gonna be this half of it. So just like that, with two dots. That's a bass clef. Okay? So that's your bass clef right there. Boom. Oh, and remember we said it kind of looks like a sad face, but he's just sad because you guys aren't here in the music class. So we're going to start with our first one. And here's the trick with the bass clef. For those two dots, you want to put them in the top two spaces. And I'll tell you why. Because the bass clef is actually the letter F. And so those two dots tell you that this line here is F, okay? So that's why it's very important. So it looks almost like the letter F, right? With the two dots. So that's what your bass clef is actually. Once you've drawn one, go ahead and draw another one. Remember to keep those two dots on the top two spaces. Remember in music, our notes go on lines or spaces, and that helps us read and remember the line. Okay, once I've drawn that one, I'm just going to keep going until I fill up my whole top staff with bass clefs, okay? I'm just going to keep going, okay? You do the same thing until you get to the end of that. Uh, of that staff, okay? And I could probably squeeze one more in here, let's see. Got it, one more. Okay, so do you guys see how that kind of looks like a letter F? And I hope that you're making your, um, I hope that you're making your dots on those two spaces very neat and clean there, okay? So here is the, the next part of our activity we're going to draw a bass clef on the 
bottom staff right here. Draw one base cleft, make it your nicest and prettiest one that you can. Nicest and best. Sorry, if my voice, if I'm talking this way, it gets harder to hear. Sorry about that. Here we go. You're going to draw the letters C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, just like we did on Tuesday. So just like this. Just follow along with me. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And I kind of did mine a little bit crunched together, but that's okay. So on the base clef, you guys can see we're just getting our stuff set up, okay? On the base clef, the notes are different than they are on the treble clef. So on the treble clef, remember we, we learned these rhymes, every good boy does fine for the notes on the line, and uh, F-A-C-E for the notes on the space, spell face. Now for the bass clef, it is different. I know it's tricky, but they made the bass clef different. So the notes in the spaces, are A, C, E, and G. And the way that I remember this is by saying all cows eat grass. Mm. All cows eat grass. Okay? Then the notes on the lines, G, B, D, F, A. And the way that we remember this one is good boys do fine always. Good boys do fine always, okay? Um, and that is just how I remember them. You can try to come up with your own acronyms to remember them. All right, let's get to drawing our notes. The first note we're going to do is that C over here. And if you look at your guide over here, C is in the second space. So make sure your note fills up that second space. And all we're doing is just drawing a circle for now. You can go back and color them in and add your tails later if you want to make them quarter notes. The next note is D. So we're going to do D on the third line. One, two, three. E is going to go in the third space. All cows eat. So you're just going to draw your note just like that. Happy little notes. Super easy. Not too hard. F. Remember when we were drawing our bass clef that those two dots go around the letter F because F is on that fourth line. So draw your F here on the fourth line. Next is G, the top space. All cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. Some people say all cars eat gas, but I hope that won't be true in a few years. Here's a G in that top space. Next is going to be A on the top line. You remember how when we did our treble clef, the, the D, the second note in our scale, was hanging out underneath the first line? This B is actually going to be hanging out on top of the top line right here. So just draw your B. It's like he's sitting on top of that top line. And then your last one is a C. And just like when we drew our scale on the treble clef, this C we need to draw an extra ledger line. So this one, you'll draw a line, and then draw your note, okay? Now my notes look a little bit sloppy, but that's okay, because now that you've drawn them all, you can color them in. And I'm kind of rushing through it. You can just move at your own pace. Take your time, okay? Um, once we get up here, remember, once we get past the third line, you guys can actually start making your, your tails, make your tail go down, okay? Here we are on the F, which is the fourth line on the base left, the F. Color it in and draw your tail from the left side of your note going down. And here you are on G. G is in the top space. I remember that because that's how I learned how to play the guitar. The G note is on that top space. And here's A on the top line. And you can just color your notes in. You can use any color you want. Draw your tail from the left side going down. And here you are on B. Tail going down. And your last one is C. 
tail going down. There you go, guys. That is all you need for your bass clef C major scale. Not too shabby, okay? Once you've drawn that, I want you to go ahead and uh, take a picture, share it to North Florida School's page or share it in the comments here. Um, now, what I want to do now is take you guys for a little walk, if that's okay. I'm going to take you guys for a walk, and I'm going to bring this ukulele right here. I'm going to bring this ukulele right here on my little walk with me, okay? Let's see. We're going to leave the music class, and we're going to line up. When the teacher blows the whistle, we all line up. And look, guys, it's the school. So, hey, it's Miss Morrow down at the end of the hall. Hi, how did it go? It was amazing. Another amazing Zoom, Zoom, Zoom meeting. Miss Morrow students. just set up her Zoom meeting with her art enterprise students. Are you guys going to your Zoom meetings this week? Are you loving seeing your classmates on the computer? <laughs> We're gonna we're taking a little walk to the playground, Miss Morrow. Yeah, if you want to come, I'd love to. Yeah, look at how beautiful of a day it is right now. Look those blocks. Some I think Miss Morrow must have stacked those blocks up. We're going right here. This playground. This playground, yeah. Awesome. The new playground at the courtyard that was gifted by Lynn and Lee Bledsoe. They love you guys. They've given so so generously here to the school. And look, guys, here we are at the playground. It's awesome. The only thing that's missing is you guys, all of you. So we're down here. You got your teeter tots, your big tire swing. Here we are, guys. I just wanted to let you see there's the barn right there. When you come back to school, You'll be able to hear horses whinnying and and uh, neighing over here while you're playing on the playground. It's super amazing. We miss you guys, and we hope you're having a great day. So I'm going to just give you one more song, and this is a song for all the kids out there. Let's see. Where should I sit? Where should I sit on the playground? Oh, I know. I'm going to find one of these cool benches over here on the playground. Oh, where I forgot my tripod inside. I guess you have to hold it. <laughs> Huh, what do you think? Is this a good spot right here? Or you can put your foot like this and be like, Hey, I just want to sing yeah, I'll do a that. song. I'll do that. Actually, can you see me? There. Oh, no, oh. it's, it's reversed. Oh, oh, oh. You want to be in <laughs> now, the song with Oh, no. <laughs> Which one? Okay, now it's reversed, right? You hear me right? You see me? Yeah, I see you perfectly. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to sing a song called Down by the Bay for the kids, for the little guys at home. Two. Oh, one. Down by the bay. seen a goose kissing a moose down by the bay down by the bay where the water runs grow back to my home i dare not go for if i do my mother will say hey have you ever seen a fly wearing a tie down by the bay down by the bay seen a llama wearing his pajamas down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, hey, have you ever seen a bear combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay? With the polka dotted tail. <laughs> he was with his friend the snail. Delivering the nail. Down by the Ever had a beat 
pizza with your friend named Lisa down by the lake. Down by the let's slow it down a little bit. Here's our last one, guys. Let's slow it down a little bit. Down by the bay. Where are you going to the bay? Hey, where the watermelons grow. Oh, they better not grow. Back to my home. To my home. I dare not go. Oh, 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 oh. For if I do, my mother will say, hey, have you ever had a time? When you couldn't find a ride down by the bay. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Mr. Sontag here reporting live from your playground. This is awesome. I think Miss Morrow and I are just going to play around here. All right. Thanks for helping Bye me out, Miss Morrow. Sure thing. Knock on. I hope side. you guys had a fun day today. And uh, make sure you tune in at 3 o'clock for a read-along with Miss Santiago. And maybe she'll even give you guys some, some yoga to warm you up, get you all relaxed and calm. And uh, have a fantastic day, guys. I'll see you again very soon.